What's up? William Barron here for DarkEffects.net, and we are inside of Adobe Edge Animate CC. However, what I'm going to show you can be done in any version of Edge Animate, not just the newest version. The question we have here is by Netted Skurik. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And his question is, hi and thanks, and you are welcome. For the tutorial, can you tell me what to change if I want to hover, hover a PNG image? I'm really new with Edge, and I assume it is necessary to change the background image on mouse over, but I can't figure it how. So, this is actually rather simple, and this is what we're going to be doing here. As you can see, we can roll over here, and it changes. And then we also have a click to where it changes as well. So we got a white image, a blue image, and then a red image for our click. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to bring over. Let's just bring over this one. And come over here, make sure it's broke, and change it 200 by 100. And you don't have to have it this big. It just depends on how big your image is. And this just happens to be how big my image is. So the first thing that we want to do is that we've got this. So let's name this our image holder. Let's come over here to our stage and creation complete and we're going to type in the following money sign sim dot uh, look up select whoops selector o r and then let's do image holder and now let's do CSS and now let's do background because this has got to be a background image let's open this up and let's do URL and I keep all my images inside of a folder called images or graphs so in this case it's inside of an images folder and forward slash and it's going to be white.png and then we are going to close this and then we're going to end it okay so now this is what we got let's go ahead and bring this out a little bit bigger we got sim dot lookup selector and you got to make sure that it's a capital s right there on our selector and then image holder is the name of our uh, rectangle here dot css background dash image and then url images white png Okay, so now let's go ahead and save this. We're going to save it inside of our folder, and this is going to be 6, 1. And then we're going to load it, and as you can see, it automatically loads our image right here. So now, we're going to make this really easy on us. Let's come over here. Let's select out this. So that's just right-click and copy of it, or Control-C, Command-C on a Mac. Close out of there, come over here to our rectangle, our image holder, and let's do click, paste there, come over here and change our text to red. Come over here to mouse over, change this to blue. And then over here, let's do mouse out, and let's change, uh, leave it as white. So now whenever we run it, we mouse over and we click mouse out and it changes it back to white so that's white blue click for red back out for white so this really simple stage is our image code right here copy this come over here to our image holder and then for our click our mouse over and our mouse out the only thing that we change is our image name Okay, I'm going to have this completed download um, or this this project in the description below so you can download it so that you can have the images that I have here. Now, I made the each one of these images inside of uh, Photoshop, so it's just really simple images. Uh, Photoshop right here. Uh, we got our red, we got our blue, and then we've got our white. And so just really simple. And I'll also add the uh, Photoshop uh, template in yonder as well for the download. So anyway, Wayne Barron here with darkfix.net. Y'all have a rocking week now. Bye-bye.